as we come to the powerhouses now of the People's Republic of China and Japan. Representing Japan, Kaede Kojima, Kaede Kojima who had uh, a ninth place in the 500 and just missed out on the medal in the um, 1500. Pan Bao Shuo picked up a silver medal in the 1500 and Lee Yun, Yun Ki seeing here. Also a silver medalist in the 1500. For Portugal, it's Francisca Enriquez, who was middle of the pack in both the individual races. And she's partnered by Martim Vieira, who didn't trouble the top ten either. And it's Noemi Libraleso, who looked good in the uh, 1500 metres, a top ten finish there, which was also achieved by her partner, Lorenzo Minari. So the Italians might be worth watching, but uh, the... Uh, Chinese pair looked the strongest and the Japanese pair looked very strong as well and that could well be a battle between the two of them and barring any huge mistakes which could happen that's who we're expecting to see qualify for the final out of this heat but right now the uh, Portuguese are get, getting off to a fast start and it's Noibi Liberaleso who's um, struggling a little bit here got some uh, ground to make up here Italy if they want to be a contender but uh, Kojima with a nice strong skate and uh, now Liu will look to try and go to, go to work as the uh, incoming skaters put themselves in a good position here the changeovers absolutely vital and that first run was a good one now Italy starting to make a move Lorenzo Minari has got himself into third place Portugal fading away so it's all about the big two here and uh, it's all about times as well Pan Bao Shuo, the silver medalist in the 1500 metres, going up against Sota Kubo, the bronze medalist in the 1500 metres. And trying to close them down is uh, Minari, who finished ninth in that 1500 metre skate as well. And that looks like an awful lot of ground to try and make up here. Oh, just a got to watch for the uh, trailing arm there. He's OK. And this is the critical changeover. And uh, Japan have had a poor one. And that's allowed the People's Republic of China to take the lead here with Liu Yunqi, who is now away and clear and have lost some important ground there, Japan. Aide Kojima with work to do. She's got to hold off Noemi Liberaleso as well. And there's a big gap there. So, the Chinese pair looking very, very strong. So much ground lost by Japan on that last exchange. You've got to be able to front run, and you've got to tune everything out as well, haven't you? And uh, if anything, Libraleso of Italy is closing that gap down on uh, Kaede Kojima. That race for second place might not be over yet. Japan not skating well here. I wonder if that exchange has uh, dented their confidence. Liu Yunqi has got no problems at all as she looks for her partner here. Pan Bo Shuo. All they've got to do is affect the uh, correct exchange. There we go. But getting interesting, the battle for second place. This is going to be interesting. All about the times, don't forget as well. That's the key. And it is Italy who go into second place. Lorenzo Minari with a big early attack. And... Uh, Japan have really uh, disappointed. It's not going to be a fast time either. But uh, Pan Baoshuo, who had a 10th place finish in the 500 and a silver in the 15. Looks like he's bringing them around. 3.07 is the time to beat. Big photo finish coming up. He's just going to be outside the 3.07. And Japan managed to edge second place coming out of that back straight. That was a sprint finish from Sota Kubo. Is it going to be enough, though, to get... Portu uh, Portugal, excuse me, Japan, there is Portugal there. They're not going to be bothering us. Are we going to see Japan in the final? That's going to be really close. China just outside the uh, Republic of Korea's time. Uh, I don't think we're going to see Japan in the final. I don't think they've got past Germany. We'll await official confirmation. So even though he had that big sprint finish, so to Kubo and uh, his partner Kaede Kojima might have been run out of this. We'll await for the official confirmation, but China 
just outside the 307 set by the Netherlands and the Republic of Korea. The People's Republic of China will settle for a 308.32. And then all eyes are on Germany and Japan, who, along with Italy, had a 309. And Italy, I don't think that's going to be enough for them. And it's not going to be enough for Japan unless they 